What's going on YouTube? Got an RTTM mill day. This will be my last video before I go on vacation for the next week and a half. So I figured I'd like to squeeze in this one more video to make. Um, it's all NASCAR TTMs. I bought a collection recently that had a lot of NASCAR cards. So I sent a ton of them out TTM. A lot of NASCAR returns. We'll start with a standard. One of the greatest NASCAR drivers in history. Signed two of two in seven days. It's none other than... Richard Petty signed these two uh, Daytona Food Line cards for me. Um, haven't got those done yet, so I was excited to get those. Um, also, two or two in seven days. No surprise here. The rest of that set, the Daytona Food Line set, Richard Petty. Happy to add this set and get that set done. I have a couple more of these Food Line sets I need to finish, so I like to get those done. Next up, sign 8 of 8 in 9 days. Um, this is someone I've not gotten before, but someone I remember when I used to watch a lot of NASCAR when I was younger, I really liked. Ward Burton. He's the brother of uh, Jeff Burton, who's a little more well-known than him, um, who's also a NASCAR driver. Jeb Burton, the current driver, is his son. Um, he's 60 years old now. He won the 2002 Daytona 500, has five career wins. So he signed 8 of 8 for me. The Stealth finish line they're all sorts of turned all around wheels high gear wheels 99 uh, we got this finish line we have Rockingham uh, 95 which was his actually his first career win so that's pretty cool and then we have this one upper deck MVP and then this really cool Press Pastel 2001 die cut, the lap leader. So super happy to get Ward Burton back. I don't think I've ever gotten him before. So happy about this one. That one. This one was terrifying when I looked at it because this is how it was. And obviously this part was sealed, but this was like this. Somehow the card survived and signed 9 of 9 in, Jeff in 14 days is... Jeff Purvis, uh, Jeff Purvis, former NASCAR driver. He was more well known as a dirt track driver. He's in the um, National Dirt L Late Model Hall of Fame. He was inducted there in 2001. Um, haven't gotten him before, so I was really excited to get these back. The envelope really scared me. Thinking they weren't in there, but luckily all nine cards somehow managed to survive. So that was really cool. Thank you, Mr. Purvis, for signing. Uh, this one was signed 8 of 8 in 10 days from Postmark Charlotte, North Carolina. We have Mr. Michael Cranefuss, who's the former head of Ford Motor Company's International Motorsports Division. And then a after he left that, he became a NASCAR team owner. He is 83 years old. Um, here's a foil stealth, um, and then the rest are just a bunch of these stealth. I always feel like the team owner cards are really cool to get done, because they're just a little more obscure, and I like collecting kind of weird stuff like that. And last but not least, sign 8 of 8 in 14 days from Orlando, Florida. We have a former NASCAR Rookie of the Year and Daytona 500 winner in Jeff Bodine. Um, greets all the Bodine, the whole Bodine family. They're all great signers. Um, they have tons of cards. So happy to get these done. And add Mr. Jeff Bodine to my collection. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And like I said, I'm going to be on vacation for the next... Well, I'm leaving tomorrow. I'll be out of town for about 10 days. So when I get back, I should have a lot more TTMs to post. But thanks for watching.